Uh, in the last lesson, uh, we worked on styling uh, some of this page here. Uh, in this lesson, uh, we are going to work on uh, responsiveness of the contents of this page, um, as well as a few styles um, onto it. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is create a new uh, style and we'll save this as articles.css. Okay, uh, now if we go into our articles HTML, we'll create a link to articles.css. Okay, and um, now what we are going to do is write some styles. So we'll start with writing, writing some style for a uh, button default and we'll set the color to 676A6C. Okay, we'll give it a border. That's one pixel. Okay, and solid. If we reset the page, we'll notice that our links have those borders and the color has changed. Okay, so um, the next, copy it and paste it. I want to change the hover. I want to make um, the hover to be slightly lighter. So everything else uh, will remain as it is here. We'll simply add a background color. And we'll set the background color uh, to a lighter color. Okay, and save this and reset the screen. And mouse over it and we can see the background color has changed. Um, we have a few more styles to add. So we say um, article row, we'll target the P in it and we want to set the font size uh, to 16 pixels and we want to set them, push everything below uh, by zero. So we're resetting it and then we want to set the font weight uh, to 400. Okay, so we first need to attach uh, this to our HTML. So we're going to affect this paragraph here. So we're saying um, attach this to our row um, class and then find the P inside it and style it. And that's what we have. So the next thing we are going to do is um, target the small um, aspect. But before, uh, before that, I'm just going to add um, status padding here. Uh, just to push our active down a notch. So here, status padding. So we say padding, top, uh, 10 pixels. So this pushes it down, so it lines up with our paragraph. Okay, and the next thing we want to do is add article title here, so we could target um, the small uh, element. So here, we we'll target small. I'm going to change the color. Okay, so now when we reset the page, it has this color. So it's slightly uh, different from what we have here. I prefer this new style. Okay, so now we can go down to the business of uh, resizing things based on the screen size. So there's a bit of a learning curve here. There's a few new things we'll learn um, here. Okay, so what we are going to do um, is change the space that we give uh, to our status, okay? So when we're viewing this on extra small device. So I'm going to uh, cut this and put this in the beginning so it's a bit easier to read. So when we're viewing this on extra small devices, so mobile devices, we want it to occupy space two out of 12. So that's what we have. So that's a starting point. So we'll give that two and I will um, give it for small devices, um, tablets, we want it to occupy one. Okay, reset that. So that's what it looks like on tablet and so back back again. Okay, so um, we'll go ahead and do this so we could compare. 
Okay, so the article title, extra small, will be 10, and on small device will be 6. Okay, so reset, and then when we go down to extra small, it doesn't overlap anymore. And when we have a look at small and then medium. So everything is, is, um, is coming together fine. So the actions, we want this to be extra small to be 10, and then on small devices to be five. So let's see what that looks like. Uh, resize it down to small device and extra small device. Okay, so we'll um, do a few more fancy things with it. But so far, it's uh, responding to what we give it. Um, so what we want to do is uh, resize certain things from our CSS. So here we're saying, uh, check the media screen size. Okay, if it's smaller than 991, uh, we want you to do certain things to it. So from 992 onwards, our desktop um, monitor screen sizes. So we're saying if it's smaller than um, a desktop computer screen, we want you to add padding to it. Okay, so let's go. So now it's smaller, so a padding has been applied uh, to it, which we can't yet see properly, but I will show you more clearly soon. So that's how to read this, okay? So when you see max width, you say if smaller than. So now we're going to see uh, a different type, uh, minimum width. So we're saying if greater than 767 pixels, so if the screen size is greater than 767, we want you to do this. So try to remember that it's a bit of a reverse um, situation. Minimum width, if greater than. So if greater than 767, we want it to float to the right. So it's floating to the right now, because it's greater than, and it's floating to the right now, because it's still greater than. But when it goes less than, it uh, stops floating, and it just drops. Okay, so that's a bit of a, a confusing one, but try to remember to reverse. So again, we'll paste this and uh, max. So if smaller than 767, okay? If smaller than 767, so it's not a tablet, it's less than a tablet going down to mobile devices, we want you to add padding left to 10 pixels. Okay, so this is not less, so we'll go in, sorry, this is less and therefore it will have a padding left. Um, it's added to, to the screen and we'll go down, you can see it remains uh, a slight padding um, there. Okay, so I will demonstrate the padding a little bit more um, shortly. So here we have um, our active, uh, which is extra small two. And on the right side, we have extra small 10 for our, our paragraph. But what I want to do is move this down so it starts here. Okay, so to do that, uh, we need to use uh, something in Bootstrap called offsetting. So we want to offset it by two. Okay, so offsetting it by two, we line it up uh, with the paragraph. So we can say column on extra small offset two. Now, if we reset the page, you can see we have exactly what we want. Okay, so here if I comment out this padding, so we can see the effect of it, you will see here, without commenting it out, there's a slight uh, space there. So if I use that pattern, it lines it up properly for us. So it only takes effect properly there. But oops, everything else has uh, gone a bit uh, wonky. So we could uh, fix this. The problem is offsetting. When you offset one thing, you have to offset everything else. So because we've set offset two, I have to reset the offset for other screen sizes. So I have to say uh, for column um, column X uh, for small offset it to zero, and then for column medium uh, offset it to zero. I want to do the same uh, for large. Uh, devices. So every time we use offset, we have to offset everything else. It's a bit of a pain, but that's how 
Bootstrap works. So now everything is fine. And it all works just as we expected to. Okay, so uh, there's a bit of a, a learning curve here. So we had, um, we've learned a few things to do with uh, certain media sizes. So remember, uh, max is if smaller than and minimum if greater than. That's when it kicks in, okay? So go into Bootstrap and find out exactly the sizes for different monitors and that it will make a lot more sense also. So this is where this lesson ends and I'll see you in the next lesson.